As Ken Kreitzer at Iona College, I have a chance to talk with the commissioner of the Metro Atlantic Conference, Rich Enser. And Rich, good to see you here tonight. We've got a great game with Siena. Great flow going out there. Great offensive play. And just an unfortunate uh, uh, outcome to a very good college basketball game here last Saturday night. Uh, I guess we have a couple of players not able to play. Well, each of the schools stepped up and dealt with our sportsmanship policy the way we expect them to. And I thought the schools really handled it well. And the coaches handled the situation at the time extremely well. And the way they've taken it from here, I think, is appropriate. And Rich Enser, uh, lots of changes going on at the NCAA. Uh, certainly, I know from football, the uh, movement caused by the Big Five conferences. What was your uh, reading from being at the NCAA uh, convention a couple of weeks ago? Well, it's, it's an evolving process for sure. We have had the Autonomy Five set up with the uh, big football conferences, and they've taken over the governance as it relates to financial aid and other student welfare benefits. So this past year, we uh, passed convention in January, we passed the what is known as the cost of attendance uh, adjustment in the uh, financial aid awards. And for the MAC, that'll mean in basketball for men's and women's, we'll fill in that gap. We'll meet that requirement. It's not uh, because we think it's important that our key sport be fully supported. And then schools will look at it on a case-by-case -case basis for their other sports. It'll cost us a few more dollars, but, you know, we want to have our basketball players supported in the way they need to be. And we know from following football that you know, so many changes because of the, uh, the playoff. But in basketball, you got 350 teams and they all have a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. Is it just something unique about basketball that allows it to keep a competitive balance? Well, I think what we all understand, all 32 conferences, is for basketball to work, what the fans like is the fact that everybody gets invited to the dance. And the fact that the AQs give us access and many of the other conferences are what make the early rounds interesting for the fans. It's what drives all those brackets, and that's what drives the uh, Turner Broadcasting revenue that we all share in. So I think uh, for the foreseeable future, at least uh, for the next 10 years or so, we won't see any changes in that regard. And one thing we always ask about in our interviews is the health care of athletes. A lot of concern about concussion injuries especially in football, but it carries over to other sports as well. How do you see uh, the handling concussions, other health care issues for athletes? Well, they've done a great job in terms of developing uh, some baseline testing and follow-through methods. Uh, Brian Hanline, who's the chief medical officer for the NCA, came in in December and met with the MAC Council of Presidents and really had an in-depth discussion, not only on the concussion, but all sorts of student welfare issues related to mental health, and dietary issues. So we, uh, we understand that these athletes need to be taken care of. We ask a lot of them, and we certainly want their uh, health and safety paramount in, our, in processes related to concussions and other elements. Rich Enser, the commissioner of the Metro Atlanta Conference, good to see you here at Iona College tonight. Thanks, Ken. I hope to see a lot of your fans as we return to Albany this March. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. This is Ken Kreitzer for WVOX and Sons of the American Legion Radio at Iona College.